Huge swings in the markets in the past couple of days, but a big fat rally in the U.S. stock market last month. Our next guest does not buy it, literally. Jim Rogers is financial commentator, famed international investor, author of many books, including A Gift to My Children, A Father's Lessons for Life and Investing. Jim, great to talk to you always. I wish you were here in person. The U.S. stock market, comparatively, if you compare the U.S. to Europe, doesn't look that bad. I know you're not a buyer. Why not? Well, taken. We still have serious problems throughout the world, uh, including the U.S. The U.S., in fact, is in worse shape than, than Europe. Europe is getting depressed these days because the debts are coming due. But America is the largest debtor nation in the history of the world, and things are getting better. Next time we have an economic slowdown, it's going to be terrible. Well, Jim, when do you think that's going to be? Because in terms of our indebtedness, there has been little waning of interest in lending money to us. And so that begs the question of when does that day of reckoning arrive? Well, six months ago, there was not much worry, uh, worry about lending to Europe. And you see what's happening now. Eventually, things, people catch on to what's going on. I would suspect, again, it'll be 2012, maybe 2013. Because if nothing else, every six, four to six years throughout history, we've had an economic slowdown in the United States for many, many different reasons. So we're overdue. We're overdue, you know, 2012, 2013. When the next slowdown comes, what's America going to do? We cannot quadruple our debt again. We cannot print staggering amounts of money again. So the next slowdown is going to be even worse than 2008, which was worse than 2002. So things just keep getting worse because the debt keeps getting higher and higher. Jim, I know you're a huge fan of commodities in particular and have been for years, in particular agricultural commodities. But if the United States is in, in such dire straits and you see Europe struggling mightily, how wouldn't a decline in demand for those very commodities hurt the prices of them? Well, certainly a, a decline in demand would hurt. The problem, Dagan, is that we have worse supply problems with commodities. It's supply and demand. And you can have demand go down, such as in the 1970s, and still have a huge bull market if supply goes down faster. In the 70s, stocks and economies around the world were in trouble, but we had one of the greatest bull markets in history in commodities because supply was so bad. But aren't, but aren't supplies increasing? You're certainly seeing it, and these aren't agricultural, but you're seeing supplies pick up in both gold and silver. And throughout history, if you look at a long chart, don't supplies long term meet demand in the world? Well, eventually, yes, of course. But that doesn't preclude that we've had throughout history, we've had long bull markets and long bear markets in commodities. You know, bull markets have lasted about 20 years. So a bear market has lasted about 20 years. It takes a long time to bring a mine on stream or discover oil or whatever it happens to be. Taken in America, the agriculture, all over the world, the agricultural supply problem is terribly serious. The average age of a farmer in America is 58. In Japan, it's 66. In Australia, it's 58. If we don't have any farmers, who's going to produ be producing food in 10 years? Are you going to go into the fields? I doubt it. Uh, I try. That's where I came from, Jim. So I, I made my. I, well, know, my I, mean. I came from farming people. So <laughs> luckily, I get to do what I do for a living. But Jim, in terms of placing long-term bets on commodities and agricultural commodities, if you're using the futures market, it, it can be very difficult and actually a losing proposition if you're forced to roll over contracts that, in the short run, are less than those are longer-term contracts. So how do you do it? Well, Dagan, did anybody ever tell you it was easy getting rich? It was easy making money in the markets? I hope not. You should watch, watch Fox, and you'll find out it's not easy making money. But it can be done. People can make money in the stock market. People can make money in the commodities markets if they do their homework and they figure it out. I'm not suggesting this is easy. I've never, it's never been easy for me to invest in the markets. But every once in a while, even I get it right. Jim, it was great to talk to you. You take care of yourself. Please come back on very soon. Sir. Thanks, Dagan. Take care. Jim Rogers, famed international investor. All right, shifting gears.